Hello everybody, welcome to the automated photo documentation and speeding up the marketing and sales in real estate. Um, I'm Sly and we have uh, River Spears from uh, Boomtown also on the call. We'll give it a few more minutes for the last minute joiners to uh, join us and then we'll uh, get going. Uh, for everybody's information, feel free to leverage the chat functionality and uh, raise your hand and ask questions. There's actually a questions uh, section of the webinar app. If there's any issues, please alert me and I'll try to address them as we go uh, forward. So let's just give it maybe one more minute and then we'll get right in. Two or two, maybe that's a good time to start. So uh, let's just start it. Um, Rivers, I'm going to uh, mute you just for a second, and then once once I give you back, you give you the audio, then I'll let you uh, stay on. So uh, real quick uh, about what we plan to uh, cover here uh, is basically give you a little bit of introduction about uh, Photo In and Boomtown, and literally talk about most of the time of uh, about marketing and sales in real estate, how the landscape is uh, changing, the revolution or evolution, uh, however you want to think about it, of technology in the real estate space, uh, and then sort of use the uh, photo documentation study or how the photo documentation in real estate is done uh, and the, the benefits of automating the whole process to uh, speed up marketing uh, and sales uh, in real estate. We, there will be um, sort of a part of the webinar at the end where we just take questions and provide answers but uh, we like to make this interactive as much as possible so feel free uh, to shoot us questions along the way through the questions uh, part of the app uh, and we'll try to address them as we uh, move forward so without further ado why don't we just uh, get into it so a little bit more about uh, photo in um, new uh, company started last year headquartered in Atlanta uh, focused on the field task of capturing and then managing uh, streamlining photo documentation in uh, business uh, we have basically gotten the first initial uh, traction mostly in construction but also in property facilities management real estate uh, and even lately in uh, insurance claims adjusting etc one of the things you will see during the presentation as we sort of talk about this relationship between uh, mobile and cloud uh, is that uh, we do not store the photo documentation captured with photo in. We basically provide the technology to put it in whatever customer's uh, storage repository is. And in that uh, sense, we have already established very strong partnerships with major uh, business cloud storage providers like Box, Sharefile by Citrix and Ignite and have a, a, a few other uh, connectors and a growing stable of uh, connectors to customers own storage repositories like SharePoint, the WebDAV to any in-house server, Oracle's Web Center content into its QuickBase, uh, etc. Uh, this is just a, a quick sort of uh, sample of the current uh, customers across the different verticals uh, that we serve uh, and one of them I'll call it out basically Boomtown uh, yeah, in real estate and uh, that's why we are very uh, glad and happy and appreciate uh, Rivers joining us in this webinar to even uh, offer a different perspective uh, of real estate uh, from the Boomtown uh, point of view and uh, all the cool and you know sort of talk about and comment on all the cool things that Boomtown has been doing uh, and uh, our companies together is sort of trying to uh, reinvent and push the push the boundaries uh, of technology within the real estate uh, space. So uh, to, to set the stage, uh, the way uh, we are framing up this conversation, I think everybody already has the idea of um, what is going on in real estate and not just in real estate but in business in general uh, with the, the, the internet, the online space, uh, everything going digital uh, and I think uh, most uh, people out there already understand the benefits 
uh, of going online in terms of the wider reach in the market, getting there faster, uh, enabling uh, easier and quicker research and more analysis in terms of uh, comparables and actually completing uh, transactions uh, and managing customer relationships and client relationships and sort of uh, pushing the business forward. Uh, one thing where photo in uh, is trying to add to the mix and to the uh, equation is the uh, most recent, if you will, revolutions in terms of the mobile space and the cloud space. Uh, and this is sort of the, the, just a setup in terms of mobile enabling faster communication, easier capture of uh, information uh, makes the, the agents more flexible, more productive, uh, and even uh, enabling a faster research on the go basically why are you in the field versus having to go back into the office waiting for reports and we'll comment a bunch of that stuff. And then in terms of the cloud and not having to have your own uh, machine in the office, you still can if you will, but even uh, getting uh, potentially uh, backed up, uh, having more data security, being able to access it anytime and anywhere, uh, uh, and with that uh, increasing the collaboration between the agents, especially in the uh, brokerages, uh, you know, there's more people that can help each other versus everybody sort of doing individually uh, and doing a lot of repetitive work. And then obviously the, the, the devil is in the details and in terms of uh, being able to compare uh, and to know what's going on in the market analysis is a big thing uh, where storing it in the cloud and, you know, being able to access it and analyze it, it, it further improves the overall um, business uh, perspective for the real estate agents, brokerages, uh, uh, etc. So um, the way we're going to lay it out, I'm going to hand it over to Rivers and actually have him talk a little bit more uh, about Boomtown. Uh, let's call it from the start as a sort of like the online space, but I think uh, as you can see on the slide and as Rivers is going to comment, there's uh, way more to it. So uh, without further ado, Rivers, feel, uh, Rivers is a, a director of digital strategy at Boomtown, but Rivers, feel free to give a few more words about yourself personally and then tell us about uh, the way Boomtown thinks about real estate uh, and all the cool things you guys are doing. Great. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Sly, for ha having me on here. <clears throat> as, as you said, I am uh, the director of digital strategy here at Boomtown. Uh, we're a company based out of Charleston, South Carolina. Um, but basically, uh, Boomtown is, uh, is an end-to-end -end, uh, platform for um, small to mid-sized brokers, but um, we, we cater more um, yeah, I guess to the to the agent team or the broker that maybe has five to ten agents, but we have also some some larger clients that have maybe a thousand agents on our platform. So, um, but basically, you get a, a WordPress-based website. Uh, you also get a, a fully integrated leads management, sales, and marketing platform that is integrated with the website. Um, and then I guess on the front end, so if we're a two a three-step process, I like to say step two would be the website. Step three would be the, um, the sales marketing platform on the back end and the leads management. Uh, step one is really where, where my team comes into play and we generate uh, leads at, you know, through paid search, through social media, through, through all various channels, um, generating traffic and, and leads for our clients. Um, we have uh, a, a little over a thousand clients across the US and Canada and um, you know, we're generating anywhere from you know, uh, on the paid side, you know, anywhere from 150 to 200,000 leads a month for our clients. So, um, but you know, some of the other things we do is is basically we we provide um, not only tech support and training, but we also provide uh, each client gets a success manager that really coaches them on how to use the platform, uh, not only technically, but how to implement it into their overall business and to. Um, you know, kind of help a world that, that is made up of a lot of 1099 style real estate agents um, where you have some accountability issues sometimes. Uh, our platform enables a broker or a team leader to really keep, keep a team, um, you know, for lack of a better term, in check. Um, you know, we have a lot of accountability metrics on the back end, uh, but, you know, ultimately we are there, you know, to fill uh, that spot, I guess, in today's real estate world of streamlining, simplifying, uh, 
what it takes to to do business online. Um, you know, north of 90% of real estate queries begin online, um, and you know, to be honest, a huge huge piece of of that is the photo side. You know, people are online. Um, the, the, the initial thing that they're doing before they really start honing in on maybe who they want to work with as a, as a real estate professional, uh, they're looking at pictures. That's what they want. They want to see pictures of properties and, and of homes. And um, so I think, you know, there's a lot of, um, you know, a lot of commonalities in what PhotoLine is trying to do and where Boomtown fits into that. Um, you know, so, you know, just really glad to be talking to you guys. And, and I guess a little bit bit of background about me. I, I have a, uh, around 10 years of, of experience on the digital marketing and agency side, um, heavy emphasis in paid search and search engine optimization, social media, uh, mobile marketing, email. So basically anything digital, you know, end to end, um, you know, that's where I fall in and what I do here at Boomtown. Uh, thank you very much, Rivers. Uh, awesome to hear that. I guess let me ask, uh, uh, myself uh, before maybe somebody else does anything that you can tell us about what sort of coming uh, in the pipeline and what you guys are thinking for the future um, well I can't really speak to any of that just yet but <laughs> we uh, we do have a lot of cool things coming um, we're, we are a WordPress based platform we're rolling out some cool new themes that we're going to be given to uh, you know offering to our clients for differentiation uh, we have some really cool things on the back end of our system that are algorithmically based um, behavior algorithms I guess is what, what the best term cool. for it where we basically help an agent who's trying to figure out out of the 500 leads they may have active in the system right now, who's the best person to call? Who's the best person? You know, who's hot? Who who should they be interfacing with? We like to um, do everything we can to streamline, simplify that process. So we have some algorithms in place that help um, create, you know, bubble up the ones that need to be addressed uh, now. Basically, is what we call it. So we got some cool things coming out um, in 2015 around really how to wrangle the amount of leads that it takes to to get down to a transaction when you're dealing with online real estate. Awesome. I guess that's that's what I was thinking. Maybe not too specific, but just so that uh, the guys and girls know that uh, there's more stuff coming uh, uh, from your end uh, as well as uh, from ours. Uh, so I will actually take that. Uh, yeah, yeah I I'll take that segue of uh, simplifying and streamlining and sort of. Uh, keep moving and uh, set the stage sort of for the mobile uh, and the cloud, uh, both of that sort of uh, lean zone or it's based on the whole uh, online space. So just sort of to throw it out there uh, that basically 86%, I think most everybody now has uh, either uh, one phone or if not uh, multiples, but basically 86% of the uh, people actually use a smartphone at work. They might not be doing uh, core uh, business aspects of it, especially in real estate, where it's a lot of is relationship based. But for example, think about it as a messaging, uh, capturing uh, photos uh, using maps. So even if it's just Google Maps, you might be leveraging your smartphone at work. The little acronyms down uh, on the bottom: bring your own device. There are so many devices now, and uh, most of the businesses there's a big trend of actually everybody using what they have. Uh, most recently, bring your own app. Uh, people looking at different things that are out there, either from the consumer or from the, the business side, and actually uh, uh, actually uh, using those apps in, uh, in work environment. Uh, getting some questions here, so we'll, we'll address them as we go along. Uh, including, so I wanted to mention uh, the cameras. So basically what is happening uh, uh, also recently is that you have, um, that you have uh, cameras that are now coming out either based on Android or other uh, like a Windows mobile operating system where uh, besides not being able to do the call, you can do pretty much what you can do uh, with a phone. Uh, and then on the uh, other side, in terms of the cloud, especially when we're talking about teams, whether it's five or ten, as uh, Rivers uh, mentioned, or, or uh, a thousand agents that might be uh, in a bigger brokerage, the collaboration, uh, some of the stats are the 22% uh, profit increase uh, in the enterprise, uh, and 86% have stated that it boosts their ability to innovate 
uh, and do uh, new things. There's hundreds of thousands of businesses already on the cloud, so instead of to sort of talking about it as a uh, coming out uh, party, maybe we can conclude uh, that mobile and cloud are already here and it just becomes a question as to how to use it. Uh, moving forward, the sort of key message or some numbers to throw out there, uh, Rivers already kindly set it up in terms of uh, the visuals and the photos that are extremely important uh, in real estate. Where here's some numbers that we uh, like to mention when we talk about photos, but documentation as well, or if you put it together, photo documentation. So 90% of the information that brain processes, it does so visually, basically through the eyes and seeing things around, and the visuals are 60,000 times uh, faster processed than text. I think we all get it, but I was still kind of uh, taken aback by the, the the staggering number of 60,000. It's not 60 times faster, it's actually 60,000 times uh, faster. And then in terms of documentation and leveraging what is captured in the field, whether it be photos, reports, or some uh, information, one of the stats is that 59% uh, of managers miss important information because they can't find it. Uh, in the old paper world, if, unless you come back uh, into your filing cabinet, how do you access it? How do you uh, how do you get to it? Um, okay, I'm seeing a question here, and I'll go really quickly back and do state that uh, Photo In does work uh, on the most recent Samsung Galaxy Android-powered uh, cameras. So we are definitely looking uh, at that as one of the the um, advantages in real estate space where high quality, high resolution photos uh, and all the other photo editing features are uh, really important. Uh, that's sort of a little bit out of the order, but I'll, I'll keep going. So what can photo documentation uh, be used and uh, what is the value that it uh, provides in real estate? Uh, documenting property conditions, you know, what are the pros and cons of each uh, location of each property, how to leverage that information to actually maximize the value uh, in the listing, uh, leveraging those photos in a marketing collateral. So I just mentioned the high-res uh, visuals, uh, but also wanted to point out one of the other things that I'll mention is as you capture the information, it is really important uh, how to uh, serve that information in the online space so that the search engines can actually pick it up, uh, whether it be uh, captions, uh, titling photos, or the, the, the text that comes uh, uh, along with it. Uh, and let me go through it and I might ask Rivers to sort of comment here given his expertise on the, on the SEO. Uh, in terms of other information that gets captured with the photos, uh, staging instructions, communicating directly through the cloud versus having to come out on site every time to talk to uh, different vendors, uh, going down the path of uh, basically streamlining that communication so not only are you capturing photos that you can leverage in marketing, but you are immediately um, communicating with those photos and visuals uh, to your staging team. Uh, closing inspections, uh, ability to capture the information together with photos uh, to be able to later easily analyze, uh, estimate, negotiate uh, in terms of what the inspection reveals uh, and what was the, the listing price. And then the all important uh, benchmarking and comparable analysis. What does the house have? Uh, it's not just about the bathrooms, but what kind of bathrooms, uh, how big they are, how big is the kitchen, is the granite countertops, uh, etc. And then looking at that on a different market level, whether it be the local neighborhood uh, with the property itself, uh, or a town, or even a region in terms of looking at what's going on with the prices uh, and the transactions uh, there. So. Uh, Rivers, did you want to potentially comment a little bit more on this marketing collateral piece uh, in terms of uh, sure. blogging and SEO? Yeah. yeah, I think just the the basic um, the basic idea that you can you can have your images with with the rich metadata already in place. Um, it's just you know most people are and for good reason they're not you don't expect them to be experts in SEO or online marketing they're either real estate professionals or, or doing something in the space and, and uh, so they wouldn't necessarily think to include that information so the fact that you make it easy and that a lot of it's taken care of for them um, is also a big win uh, but you know visuals are 
are, are like you said, it, it is the, the online economy is driven a lot by visuals, and, and I think that's evidenced by the popularity you see in Instagram and, and Pinterest and things like that, too. So, um, you know, streamlining that ability to take, uh, you know, uh, I guess high resolution good photography on the go and the way that um, cameras and mobile devices can take such good pictures nowadays. Um, streamlining that process and being able to push that into a website or, or into social media uh, quickly with the right meta description is a, is a huge win for you know the, the everyday real estate professional. Awesome. Thanks uh, for that because that's another uh, good segue uh, for me. Uh, basically, uh, I will think here that I'm uh, sort of preaching to the choir as it usually uh, ends up being the case, but really quickly to set up uh, the rest of the what we're talking about from a photo in a perspective, capturing photos, capturing info, filling out forms, uh, templates uh, on location, generally done in a disjointed fashion. A lot of notes are still taken uh, on paper. There's multiple files. Uh, if you even get around to it in terms of coming back into the office and organizing uh, the photo documentation, transferring to where it needs to be stored for future reference, uh, filing it into different folders, uh, and then instead of having an IMG and then some random number, actually giving a photo a name, again, for future uh, easier reference. And still, in today's world or in the old way of doing things, usually still having uh, notes and this data separated uh, from the photos. And then when you actually want to use it and you want to put it somewhere, you find yourself looking at a bunch of different photos to pick only a few that you really need. You still have those random file names and you can't really tell based on the, the folder full of photos what is the one that you're going to need. You're losing time. Uh, there's lack of context as to potentially after some uh, time in looking at a uh, hundreds, let's say, of properties, you know, what is this photo really uh, supposed to say, and then how do you share it? You know, how do you send it to the client? How do you send it to the uh, staging vendor? Uh, generally, we still see, uh, that's why this guy is sort of wondering what's going on, attaching with an email, and then basically a big process that doesn't necessarily get thought about as such, but still uh, using a lot of time uh, on a daily basis. Uh, especially where visuals are so important uh, and uh, showing the visually uh, the listing that you have uh, and managing all that very cumbersome uh, and by definition very uh, very costly in terms of the time uh, that it takes. Uh, so at PhotoIn we sort of looked at that problem and as a company are focused on uh, solving the photo documentation problem and taking it to another level uh, and we started by sort of defining what is the ideal solution that should be out there to sort of uh, solve this, not just for real estate agents, but anybody who's uh, in business trying to capture or has to capture a lot of photos and a lot of information that goes along with it. So first of all, a simple to use and a single tool for both the photos, information and reports rather than using different uh, tools to actually get it complete. Instead of having it be somewhere there, actually having it in your own storage repository or system, whatever it, uh, that may be, and having that connection be direct from the field uh, to the office, if you want to call it that, or your own home. Uh, and then because of the online space, being able to easily manage that relationship uh, and being able to access it anytime and anywhere versus having to be at a specific location like your office just to be able uh, to access uh, the information and the, the, the visuals and the photo documentation. One other one that we uh, added to the mix, uh, again talking to hundreds of uh, different companies and businesses, everybody has a little bit different needs or a different way they do things and making the solution fully configurable, to me these different needs uh, definitely stood out and I usually say here just like Salesforce where pretty much you can change any field, you can change how things look and how you work with them, uh, the ideal photo documentation should have that uh, piece as well. So at PhotoIn, we went ahead and uh, um, created that solution and continue to create it. Uh, you can only do so much in a, in a given time, but we already have a single uh, tool that allows you to uh, capture uh, photos and information, and I will actually 
here in a minute uh, do a real quick uh, live demo just to show you how that uh, looks and works. It actually works across uh, the devices. It is not just uh, on the iPad or just on the iPhone. It works on both and it works on Android tablets and Android phones. We'll actually also be adding uh, a Windows One and uh, as I mentioned before coming back to the question about the cameras, uh, it actually works on any Android powered uh, cameras or if it ever there's one powered with iOS, which is the Apple's operating system, uh, PhotoIn will work on that as well. And as we discussed on the previous slide, direct connection and not just a direct connection to one folder again as sort of a data dump, but actually direct connection and filing it into the right folder, whatever your storage is, whether it be box, uh, share file, ignite, again a web dump connect connection uh, into any in-house server and others. And I will quickly show you also the web portal that's used to manage uh, and configure uh, this solution to work uh, for uh, for every for every business uh, sort of separately. And maybe instead of letting you read this slide uh, from here, I will actually pop up uh, the iPad just to make it quicker. Rivers, can you please confirm that you can see the iPad? Yep, I can see cool. it. Thanks. So top left corner, and again, this is a demo with the iPad just to make it uh, look better uh, on the screen. Works the same way with an iPhone or a, or a tablet. And another thing that, being very open, I'm actually at my house because the internet connection broke. So you will see a picture of a door at my home. Uh, hopefully, people uh, or the the attendees will not mind. So we are here in a gallery. Again, extremely easy to use. Uh, search bar, you'll see more about that, camera icons, the uh, action uh, menu, so I'll close the action menu, get into the camera icon, really quickly take a picture of the door that I mentioned uh, earlier. It already knows that we are uh, at the house and actually uh, I lease and I've done the same thing when I was leasing, I actually used the app uh, to do an inspection. Uh, it also tells us that we can tap anywhere uh, on the picture to annotate. So let's say that there was something wrong with this uh, outlet uh, or that its table is granite, although it's not. Uh, and then I'm going to do a swipe from the left to show you sort of the rest of the cool stuff. Automatically capture from the device the GPS longitude and latitude, date and timestamp. Uh, which device actually took uh, the photo, what is the name of the project or property or listing, this is all configurable, uh, using the key information to actually name the photo. So just by the name of the photo, you will know what the, uh, what the photo represents. And then down on the bottom, uh, you have um, tags. So let's say that uh, in doing some kind of property management, or in this case, you're looking, doing an inspection, uh, that this would be doors, uh, and then you can have as many of these tags as you want, and then further capture any kind of information uh, that you want to associate uh, with this uh, with this photo. So the first thing to call out here, and I'll really quickly go ahead and sync this photo. The first thing to call out here is that everything you see on the photo, uh, the photo in software actually takes and embeds it into the photo. So this is another one of those where the information is no longer separated from the photos, but from this point forward, uh, they travel uh, together. Uh, and then really quickly, let me show you that you can actually look at it by different listings, by addresses, uh, date, device, uh, and for a little bit of a wow factor uh, in showing you the map view, I will show you a friend of mine that traveled around the world with a photo in app. So he, I'm from Croatia, so he actually started from Croatia going east across the world. Uh, and basically, you can see the photos on the map, and I'll show you that it can be very uh, granular depending how good of a map uh, Apple has for that. So basically pieces of a region, uh, or let's do, show you the pins by, here's the Pacific. And basically, just by tapping on a pin, you can get uh, those photos 
from that area. And now really quickly uh, to show you the rest of the metadata power. So basically the, the, all the information is in the photos as metadata. Let's go find uh, that outlet that we just annotated a second ago. Here it is. And it's actually there's two photos that have a, um, an outlet in it. This is how quickly you can get to the subset of the photos. And again, from benchmarking comparables, you want to see different houses, what prices they went, uh, to the extent that you can sort of think about it over a longer period of time, what you are able to do after you have a good database that has been built with all this metadata uh, in the photos. We also have uh, reports, uh, and I think this is a little bit less important, but just maybe for the sake of uh, showing you, let me do this quick, again, property inspection where uh, you can have your chapters, sub-chapters, and then let's say you are doing uh, an area, you can have your setup questions where you are uh, looking at the area, uh, at areas doing yes, no, you're doing drop-downs, operating expense in this case, uh, taking comments for each, fo uh, for each question, uh, or taking a photo. Um, and so again, the, some of the questions, uh, th th it works exactly the same way uh, on the phone, it's optimized for the phone, it's a native app, uh, you don't have to have an internet connection to do all the capturing, but to do this next step that I would like to show you, you actually uh, will need the internet connection to file the photo where it's supposed to uh, go. So here's our photo in demo projects, we actually leverage Box, uh, and again I will ask for some imagination that it works the same way with all the other connection because that's what the software has been written for, you go into the folder that you already uh, have. And now I think while I'm talking, uh, we should get, uh, and I think that's it, we should get the photos that we have uh, taken just a second ago be filed into this 504 Bainbridge Drive townhouse. So you click in there, uh, you can organize it uh, by tags, uh, and here's our doors, I think. Yeah, so, um, and if this is not the right one, this is where we are expecting that photo to show up. So again, uh, really quickly go back to the slide, capture it in the field, and have it directly be filed uh, into the right folder uh, where, it needs to, where it needs to go. So um, hopefully you can get the idea of how uh, streamlined this is, where, and I'll flip around a little bit, where all that manual stuff that used to happen is now taken away, the technology does it for you, and instead of looking at all the photos to find the few that you need, you can literally do a, a quick search. So this is the slide that sort of summarizes uh, what you're seeing here, and I'll show you a, a, another piece to it, but basically easy to use, single, sing, single capture uh, solution in the field, snap tag annotate, auto capture all the key, location information and data goes with the photos. It goes directly to your own uh, storage. You can maintain control of the photos and data uh, and you can actually drive real-time workflows and this is sort of talking about what your storage can do and whether you have some notifications that new files have been added or you send it into the folder where the staging um, vendor can access it. Uh, and then being able to, just like I was doing here uh, on Box, being able to come here uh, and uh, actually see the photo whenever, uh, whenever you need it. Uh, and then, so now I'm talking a little bit more uh, ahead, but let me say being able to manage this relationship for multiple users, create and manage forms, and configure the filing hierarchy. So uh, one might ask, how does the photo know where it needs to go. So this is basically where it's uh, specified. Uh, oh, I think I know what it is. I didn't tag it appropriately. So it's probably here. Yeah, so here's the photo that we just took uh, today. And with the box, not only that, but you can actually access the metadata. And you see here, outlet and a table grant. So what I didn't do appropriately today, I haven't changed my filing hierarchy. Instead of going a project construction tag, I should have put it 
to be maybe a PM item, but this is how easy it is to basically specify how you want it to go automatically uh, in your own um, storage. So basically how you want this uh, tree to look like. Uh, not only that, you can create your own tags really quickly how easy it is. There's the webinar. Now let's add rivers. This is how easy it is to configure the solution in terms of setting up your locations even before you uh, show up on site. You can do so uh, on a map. Basically say here's my listing one, two, three, the listing X, Y, Z. Uh, go around uh, and have that preset before you even show up uh, on site. Uh, if it's a brokerage, you want to see all your agents, you can see what they're doing. You can set up permissions whether they're sharing photos or just uploading their own, uh, whether you're deactivating them. Um, and on the end, you can actually come back to all your photos and look at them by different locations. This is the analysis piece, even the date range. Let me see all the photos that I've taken over the last uh, two weeks by the different tags. Or let's just go ahead and find our outlet. And here's uh, our output. And notice how it's loading up because we don't store the photos. This is now being loaded up uh, from Box to actually give you the preview of the photo with all the annotations, the comments, um, etc. So um, I know I talk fast. Sort of apologize for that if I am talking too fast. But maybe I'll take a, a step here and uh, just see if there's any questions, or at least to remind you that you can use the the, the webinar app on the uh, probably on the right side of your screen. There's a question panel uh, or uh, chat, so uh, feel free to uh, to ask questions. Uh, Rivers also feel free to jump in at any time, and I guess I'll just sort of slow down a little bit, but keep rolling. Um, Hopefully you have taken here that a photo in differences that a photo and photo documentation is automatically filed, it is searchable, and it's fully configurable. Uh, some of the field tests that we've done in terms of capturing both information and photos and getting it to be usable on the back end, when you take it all together, how much it takes in the old way of doing things and with photo in, saving up to 20 minutes uh, per hour. And then there's uh, the more data that you have captured that you can leverage in the analysis. Uh, you can have automated uh, workflows that stem from basically automated filing, uh, lightning fast keyword search, as we've seen, and then fully configurable tags, uh, filing paths, uh, and reports. So this is usually the backup slides if the uh, live demo fails on me, so I'll sort of slow, uh, speed up through that. Uh, we've also seen that you can filter photos from the app, that you can see across the brokerage all the photos that have uh, been taken. Uh, there's a map functionality report. You can actually import other photos that were not necessarily taken with photo in app uh, and uh, do all the same cool photo in functionality with it. In case you want to, you can actually email individual photos and then there's a bunch of settings uh, like permissions, uh, the quality of the photo, whether you're using the mobile network or not, uh, just Wi-Fi, uh, uh, etc. <clears throat> this is a little bit more, yeah, so this is something that I can uh, also uh, point out. When we do our reports in terms of rendering out of the box, you actually get the photo to carry uh, the reporting rather than a bunch of text again. Uh, remember, 60,000 times faster process what you see on this photo rather than giving you a bunch of text. But all this is uh, also fully configurable and you can actually even, uh, you see here the photo in logo. Let me show you how uh, you can actually change the logo just by uploading uh, your own. Uh, now go back here. Um, again, feel free to ask any questions and we'll slowly keep on going so we have some uh, time at the end of the presentation for any additional questions. So to tie it all together now that you hear us talk about the online space and uh, Rivers talking about sort of end-to-end -end, uh, 
service that Boomtown provides in terms of uh, relationship management, getting the leads, managing the leads, uh, the algorithms that help you sort of navigate your way uh, through all the leads that the, the, the Boomtown guys actually bring to your doorstep uh, and photo in helping you streamline the field uh, to office or if you will field to your website uh, capture of the data uh, photos uh, uh, general uh, photo documentation let's roll it back to those uh, use cases and the value that we uh, discussed uh, before so uh, and there's going to be some repeating but basically uh, save time save thousands of dollars that you might not even be aware is uh, going away with uh, with all the time that you put into something that's not necessarily adding you value like filing uh, the photos uh, using the custom tags to categorize and organize yourself uh, uh, internal marketing out external marketing communicating with vendors and uh, uh, sellers uh, as you're talking to them and leveraging other documentation that you can easily uh, retrieve with visuals to show them why maybe their listing should be a little bit higher or a little bit lower price than maybe what they uh, had in mind and not having to go uh, on site for everything that needs to be done with the listing to prepare it for the uh, for actual uh, marketing. You get all the data uh, within the photos uh, and this is uh, one of those things where still hearing from people uh, there's different agents that might do uh, some of their own uh, call it inspections or walkthroughs uh, in leasing it happens a little bit more uh, than in sales in sales it's more at least from what we've seen uh, just straight up uh, grab, grabbing the photos so that they can be leveraged for visual communication uh, and marketing um, so yeah so there's uh, some stuff here that uh, is more from a property management standpoint where agents that are doing some uh, inspection uh, in case that there is any kind of disputes or any work that needs to be done on the house uh, and you want to control that with visuals rather than going on site having very good organized photo documentation uh, can help you resolve any disputes that might happen uh, down the line. Um, and now it's basically time for the uh, question and answer session and I kind of liked the way we sort of set up the stage so I'll go back uh, to this slide uh, and let anybody ask any questions that might be uh, relevant or Rivers feel free to add any additional uh, comments that you think are relevant based on what we discussed. Yeah, I think, I think just in, in general um, I'll just add that you know it's 2014 um, Mobile is everything, um, and and the the modern consumer, regardless of whatever industry you're in, but especially in real estate, uh, they want answers quickly. They want information quickly, um, and so a tool like PhotoN, a platform like Boomtown, they work very well in providing that seamless experience and and to the kind of always connected consumer. Um, you know, so I think that's a big big piece of that. And, and I guess the other thing from a real estate professional's perspective is. You're on the ground all the time, showing property, going, you know, driving through neighborhoods. Um, it, this makes it very, very easy to take tons of pictures, have them documented, have them in a very centralized location. Uh, so whether it's you or your broker or even a third-party vendor like Boomtown can have access to those photos for, you know, whether it's using them for your MLS listing, whether it's using them to document something, um, you know, for an inspection, or even for for what we've done with some clients uh, using them to to basically take, they'll take 100 pictures and we can go in and take them and put, put them on blog posts or use them on a website. Um, so rather than having to send over files and like the, the old way of doing things, it just streamlines um, the process, you know, exponentially. So, um, you know, like I said, I think the real time aspect of it is, is really what, what a huge piece of this is for, for the modern consumer. Uh, so one of the questions uh, we have here, you just mentioned blog posts. Uh, can you comment a little bit more? Um, and I guess maybe that's one of those newer things. We hear a lot about the blog post, but uh, give just a little extra comment on a blog post that an agent uh, would write and how does that actually work in uh, helping them. I think this is also related to that SEO thing, but I think it's definitely something new in terms of creating content for the SEO that will actually attract 
uh, more leads. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know what you get from the MLS or what from an IDX feed, which is which is a the, the kind of downstream MLS feeds that a vendor like Boomtown would receive and then turn into the website. Um, that material, that information, that property details information is is the same pretty much on every website out there. So whether it's Zillow, whether it's a broker site, whether it's you know an agent site, it doesn't matter. It's very similar, um, and so it behooves an agent or a broker to maybe take the next step to feature a property, say with a blog post or in social media, um, where you're maybe taking some additional pictures or providing a little more color around the property that you can't quite do necessarily in that very standardized MLS format with public remarks and, and the things that are you know kind of required in that format where you can create a, um, a nice uh, blog post where you're really getting more um, you know, personal with the tone or the, or the feeling about the property, um, and then maybe leveraging that for for social media. So, having different types of images um, than just your standard, you know, shot of the living room or shot of the kitchen, uh, providing some some more color around the neighborhood, and and you know, those are the things that are going to stand out uh, from a search perspective. And the good thing about it is that the images are already the metadata is already behind it. So all of those things very much can help you show up in search, whether it's just in a regular organic search or if somebody's actually looking for images of a neighborhood or of a specific property, it's going to increase your chances of ranking. And the good thing is you don't have to be an SEO expert because the metadata is already there for you. So, um, you know, if you're creating good content around it, you're taking good pictures, which you can do with with modern phones, you've got an app like Photo in that, that brings in all the metadata, It's it's a very streamlined uh, solution for, for helping increase your chances of organic um, opportunities or picking up organic traction online. Uh, awesome comments. And let me just add, and this is me sort of learning about this as PhotoIn does its marketing. So I just wanted to add, uh, basically, you can write more keywords in something that makes sense and that somebody would come and read rather than just trying to count on sort of the, the captions. Uh, or the short descriptions and when uh, uh, Rivers was talking about organic search etc one of the things that I was uh, I thought was a great learning for me when we were talking to the to the HubSpot folks is that Google has this uh, algorithm that sort of uh, weighs in different things as to why your content might be relevant because if it was just about the keywords literally you can write them all together that doesn't mean that your uh, post or your listing is actually going to show up, but if it's a well thought out uh, and a good blog post that actually provides value to the readers, Google picks it up uh, as a relevant uh, relevant content that it should serve uh, to the person that's actually searching. And in that sense, what uh, Rivers was talking about, organic search getting picked up uh, and being higher ranked so that when somebody is searching something for in your area, your listing actually ends up being uh, higher up uh, in the search results. Did I say that well, Rivers? I think I think you did it pretty well. <laughs> good job. Thanks. Uh, we're not getting any other questions, and actually, some people sort of already popped off. So uh, maybe in closing, um, if you're interested more about Photo In, uh, support at Photo In, sales at Photo In, info at Photo In, uh, and maybe Rivers, you can volunteer. I should have put it on the slide. I apologize for that, but maybe volunteer how best uh, they can find out more information about uh, Boomtown ROI. Sure. Um, you can just visit our website, which is uh, boomtownroi.com. Um, you can actually you could contact me directly at rivers at boomtownroi.com, uh, or if you got questions, you can reach out to Sly. He can put you in touch with me as well. That is absolutely correct. And since I don't have it on the slide, I'll just. Uh, show it this way. I'll just go to your website and show them. Uh, yeah, there you go. A cool visual immediately to start to, <laughs> to start off things. Uh, thank you all very much uh, for uh, joining us. Again, feel free to uh, reach out with additional questions uh, from here on out. Uh, we have recorded the, sec the session and we will make it available uh, for you to revisit uh, in case it's needed. Uh, Rivers, thank you very much for making the time. I know you guys are very busy, uh, so I sincerely appreciate you making the time to uh, tell our audience a little bit more about Boomtown and comment on marketing and sales.
in real estate and how it can be done better and faster. I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. No problem. Yeah.